this Mass, in loving memory of Celso Camano, may the Lord who called him may give him a place of peace and light. Together with our different intentions, we now begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to build the contract of God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voices of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood may have light through you and under your protection rejoice forever and ever. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers he has brought to fulfillment for us, the children, by raising up Jesus. As it is written in the second psalm, you are my son this day, I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Amen. We found so your son. You are my son this day, I have begotten you. You are you my son this day, I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possessions. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like earthen dish. You are my son of this day, I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling. Rejoice. You are my son of this day, I have begotten you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If they were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the things that uh, people look forward to in this great nation is a time when they will retire. And one looks at the benefits of retirement, how is going or how she's going to spend her time more quality time with the family, with the grandchildren, more time, at least move around, other than following a schedule of every morning waking up and thinking of what needs to be done at work. And I was asking some people here why the level of corruption is so low as compared to our back at home, our countries, whereby corruption is the order of the day. And as I always tell you, it may not sound like corruption because they give corruption different names. They baptize corruption to the level that it may not sound to be corruption or not. Like back at home, they always talk of facilitation. If you want something to move, you have to facilitate. That if you want, you are making an application for a job, and you just leave it in the office, it will be blown by the wind. And therefore, you must get a stone to put on that application so that it can't be blown by the wind. And you know what that implies? And one told me why. Here, that level of uh, thinking and doing is checked because people look forward to their retirement benefits. I've worked all these years, I've put there maybe 35 years. Why must my 35 years? be destroyed by an act of corruption that is just done in a day. Looking forward for something after all the suffering. And I just want to use this very scenario to understand the reading, the two readings of today. In the first reading, we hear Paul addressing the people who killed Jesus and they said, all the oracles said about that. And therefore, by doing what you were doing, much as Jesus has to endure, had to endure the pain, but in a way you are fulfilling the promises that God made for his people. More looking at the end product 
makes Paul a very happy person. It's not so much lamenting at the suffering of Christ, but it's more looking at the gain that comes with raising Christ from the dead. So because from that act of raising from the dead, that is when our salvation is gained. In the gospel, Jesus addresses his disciples, and he does it at the Last Supper, when he knows exactly what a few days or hours had in store for him. He knew they were going to be scandalized by the scandal of the cross. And he tells them, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Do not lose your faith in me when you get scandalized by what is going to happen on me to the cross. Have faith in me. And he concludes that in my father's house there are many dwelling places and I'm going to prepare a place for you. Reminding us as Christians that much as we go through earthly challenges, much as we carry our own crosses, we must have our eyes fixed on that place that Christ prepares for us. Something to look forward to. That I know for sure, if I have faith in God and also have faith in Christ, after all the challenges of life, it's going to be my retirement. I'm going to receive my retirement package and that's having my communion with my God. We pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our minds will always be focused on the place that Christ prefers for each one of us. So that every day of my life, I walk towards achieving a space or a, a room in that dwelling place where God is to enjoy perpetual happiness with him after all my earthly troubles so that I don't continue with the challenges that I had here but at least after all the burdens because of my faith I can enjoy happiness I can breathe I can enjoy my retirement to the Lord we pray that we may always focus on Christ as the way as the truth and the life that can lead us to the Father and do everything possible to follow the dictates and the teachings of, that Christ puts across to us. For Pope Francis and our Bishop Timothy, may the intercession of Pope Pius the Fifth help them in their pastoral decisions. We pray to the Lord. For our civil leaders, may God bless them with the, in their service to their community. We pray to the Lord. For those who feel lost or abandoned, may they be comforted by the warm warmth of the Lord's abiding presence. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all those in this faith community engaged in education, may the Lord bless their dedication and service. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For our beloved dead, especially Celso Kamani, whom we remember to pray for in this Mass, may they be brought swiftly to their eternal homeland by the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord we now take a moment to offer those prayers that lie in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord we ask God this through Christ our Lord.
in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all cloudy, yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the Pascha joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic chorus sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim you. Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O oh Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your child spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our merciful answer, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be prepared to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Command, and formed by divine teaching to be there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and for 
forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the the Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Say it as a friend. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, they are redeemed by the passion of your Son. They may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the man in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yet 